Once upon a time, after Rome had fallen because of political, economic, social, and political reasons, Europe became a very dark place. Almost everyone was a peasant struggling to survive. Stealing, bribery, betrayal, and war all took place constantly. Anyways, in the Dark Ages there was a power system called feudalism. The king was at the very top. Then there were lords and ladies who had good fortune. However, there were barely any lords and ladies. There were lower ranking vassals who served lords and ladies. And lastly, most people were peasants who were poor and miserable and they were at the very bottom of the power pyramid. Also, life was centered around religion and superstition. Science was not present. Soon, things brightened up. By the 14th century, a time called the Renaissance, or rebirth, began. It all started in Italy, when the flourishing, rich cities of Venice and Florence developed a republic. For this republic to work, people had to become educated. These people started rediscovering ancient Greek and Roman texts. They were inspired by them. People of the Renaissance developed an interest in another topic, science. Scholasticism and education was occurring. Scientists were emerging. It was a scientific revolution. Soon, the greatness of the Renaissance spread all across Europe. Just watch and see how much people were enlightened during this beautiful time. Oh, this is taking forever. Why does it have to be so hard? I know, if only there was something that could do this faster and make our lives so much easier. Aha, I have a solution, the printing press. All you gotta do is press, 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 and you'll get book, book, book. This will spread it throughout Europe and make it so much easier to learn. What's that shiny thing up there? Ah, uh, ah, uh, it, it's so shiny. Woo, woo. That is way too shiny. I'm blinded. Did you know that that shiny thing up in the sky revolves around us? Because we're just so important that it's all for us. We're geocentric. Astronomy is a wonderful concept that needs to be studied. So what are y'all doing? Get out there, astronomy! <laughs> By the way, the sun is actually the center of the solar system, so heliocentric, heliocentric! <laughs> y'all are right about this whole heliocentric thing, except we do not travel around the sun in circles. We travel around the sun in ellipses. Wow, with my revolutionary new telescope, we shall see things as never seen before. Whoa, whoa. Other planets have moons. I'm on top of the world! Oh. Ah. 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 What is this red stuff coming out of my arm? I'm dying! Huh. I shall start studying the human body and find out how it works. It'll be anatomy. I can also draw some extremely detailed pictures of the human skeleton. So beautiful, I know. I shall dissect dead bodies and discover more about them. Whoa, why does it roll? Whoa, why does it stop? Whoa. Whoa. Greetings, I'm Isaac Newton, better known nowadays as the Apple Dude. Seriously, I don't even like apples. Like, the heck? Anyways, I shall study physics and come up with three laws of motion that are pretty cool. Like you might have heard of inertia. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who knows nothing about any of this stuff? Whoa. Whoa. All matter is composed of elements. Watch as I look even closer into life with my microscope. Whoa, what are those little things? What? 
themselves. I believe that objects of greater mass fall faster than objects of smaller mass. I mean, it makes sense, right? The bigger rock falls faster than the smaller rock. Uh, why do you think that? Because I think that, and I say so, and that makes it science. <laughs> I shall prove you all wrong! First, I will show you that you should actually test your ideas. Second, you guys are all wrong about that falling objects theory. Now watch as I change history with my revolutionary dropping of the rocks. Shazam! They touch the ground at the same time. This calls for a brand new way to discover things. The scientific method! Whoa! This person might have committed a crime. Let's throw them in the water to see if they float or drown to determine their innocence. Oh, that makes perfect logical sense, though. That Middle Ages junk has no reason to it. I mean, how about we start using reason and logic, guys? I shall call it rationalism. Hashtag Team Rationalism. Wait, there's one more problem. How do I know that I exist? I think, therefore, I am. Okay, so if I have three cookies and I eat two cookies, how many cookies do I have left? Ugh, if only something could do this math for me, like, whoa, a calculating machine. Like this! Wait, wrong century. But first, let me take a selfie. That's better. Whoa, why are these diseases spreading? The Black Plague! No! Ah! <laughs> yes, with my new and improved microscope, I can see things even closer. Uh, ew. Ew, what are those things? Bacteria! Praise the Lord for all is good. This isn't real. Do not question the Lord for all is good. This is heresy.